Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. Total commitment. Battling for every position. Always at the limit and beyond to stay in the lead. The external forces have to be tamed. When I'm accelerating or braking, I've got relatively little opportunity to control the forces impacting on the tires. I've somehow got to hold the thing steady in order to turn into the corner. Yet that's exactly the point where I can make a difference. Whenever I turn into a corner, I can ruin my tires fairly quickly. If I turn in two kilometers per hour faster, then the force pushes over the front tire. The temperature rises relatively quickly, and in next to no time, I've destroyed it. What forces affect the tires and running gear? When the driver turns the wheel, mass inertia means that the car would rather go straight on. This force then pushes the car to the outside of the corner. Also impacting on the tires are circular forces. The rotating wheel too doesn't want to alter its position, thus slowing cornering and exerting forces into the vehicle. Optimum response from running gear and tires is then needed for the driver to keep control and a sure touch. You have the driver, you have the car, you have the suspension, you have the tire, you have the road. And at the end, so this performance is judged by the driver. So even if you have a very good tire on the, on the car, if the driver doesn't like it, so the tire is not the one you want to have on this, on this vehicle. So then absolutely there, we need to make sure that the tire will operate properly and as the driver likes to have it, to make sure the vehicle responds like the driver wants to get it operating. What's needed is lots of contact with the surface, provided by a constant contact patch. Developers test and research this under all load conditions. A normal car tire going at increased speed has a somewhat smaller footprint, while in motor racing, for example, the car's momentum and aerodynamics really push the vehicle down onto the track. That naturally creates a larger contact patch. In research and development, the properties of the tyre get matched precisely to the running gear. As here at Dunlop, ultra-modern high-tech equipment is used to develop tyres that in the battle for hundreds of a second give drivers a predictable response and transfer of power. How important that is, is well known in the BTCC. You've got a lot of cars all within a very small uh, chunk of time on, on the times. and. Uh, at the moment, I think if you lose a tenth of a second, you could lose six or seven places, which is unreal, considering all the cars are different, drivers are different, teams are different. Uh, you know, it's not like a one-make championship. You're looking for a tenth of a second a little bit, and the driver, this is, everything's different, and everyone's within a tenth, so uh, it's all coming down to perfection. The driver needs to get everything perfect, and, and also we need to get the car set up perfect, so it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough year. Extreme precision is therefore needed in executing steering commands. Forces then not only flow through the tyre into the asphalt below, but the loads created also flow back into the chassis and need to be dissipated. If every component is ideally aligned, the car literally lies as flat as a ball. If the limit's exceeded, the running gear gets overburdened, the forces end up within the vehicle and physics takes its toll. The accelerated mass becomes almost uncontrollable. That's because another force needs to be dealt with. With every bump in the surface, vertical jolts occur, going into the running gear and from there into the chassis. Then everything comes together. Sideways, lengthways, circular and vertical forces constantly changing. Extreme stress for running gear and tires. Only if all the components work as one will the car handle predictably when at the limit. In races, that's the difference between being at the limit or beyond it. Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.